In a matter of days, a Rochester business will take over a crucial step in space exploration. The Webb Space Telescope is supposed to be the bigger, more powerful successor to the Hubble Space Telescope. And it's about to start a series of tests before it can take off in October of next year. The test will be done in Houston, but Charles Molyneux reports the people who will be doing the testing and who put it all together come from right here. This project has been in the works for well over a decade, but a crucial hurdle is starting next week. And a longtime hometown Rochester business, Harris Corporation, is pulling it all together and making sure it actually works. It's the next flagship mission for, for NASA astrophysics. When the James Webb Space Telescope blasts into space late next year, it could open up a view of the universe that takes us way back. Basically back about 14.3 billion years. Believe it or not, there's still light from the Big Bang traveling through the universe. But the Webb Telescope and all its components first have to go through a grueling series of tests. On July 11th, the telescope will be closed up in a giant vacuum chamber in Houston and frozen to hundreds of degrees below zero. Tested by the engineers of Rochester's Harris Corporation, who put it together. My particular role is making sure that it operates optically. Okay, so the James Webb Space Telescope is made out of 18 individual hexagonal mirrors, six-sided mirrors. And each of those mirrors has been tested by itself. But they've never been put together uh, to make sure that they work properly as an entire mirror. Harris may be a low profile Rochester institution, but it's been working with NASA since the 1960s on advanced imaging. There's a lot of things that we do here, uh, little uh, known facts about our um, participation on imaging systems that, uh, that bring you the Google Earth uh, images. The $8 billion Webb Telescope is the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, which for decades has provided stunning new views of stars, galaxies, nebulas, and given tantalizing hints of other planets. The Webb is almost three times the size of Hubble, and instead of orbiting the Earth like the Hubble does, Webb will go out a million miles to a stable point in space where its honeycomb of beryllium mirrors can scan the infrared spectrum for the farthest reaches of space. By looking at this light that's all traveling around, you can try and understand um, the formation of planets and the formation of galaxies that, that came out of the dust of the Big Bang. More important, engineers say, are the breakthroughs we haven't even thought of, which Webb will discover once it's up there. They say Harris and the optical expertise that grows around Rochester will be ready for them. A lot of pipeline of capability that comes out of University of Rochester, RIT, that specializes in the things that, that we do well here. Uh, the fact that it's all in Rochester makes us a very unique and very special community here uh, within uh, this industry. And once the Webb Space Telescope goes up, the Harris engineers won't get much rest. They're already online for their next big project for NASA, the W First Space Telescope, which will scan the heavens for dark energy. Charles Molyneux, News 10 NBC.